Hello everyone and welcome back to Full Hilt. Um, last time we got a we got a good ways into this volcano dungeon, so let's see what we got in this room. What do you know? There was some tre uh, there was some treasure in here and right out in the open too. Cool, a sword and a stone. Wonder why it's here. Don't know, don't care. It's mine now. Uh, no offense, Zach, but I think we should be more careful than this. What if yoinks? Oh, you know, just pull it out anyway. That's also cool. <laughs> Huh? That was oddly simple. I feel like I'm missing something. Hey, wait a minute, it's broken. Damn thing's missing uh, chunks of the blade. That doesn't sound right. Why would there be a broken sword down here? What ho? Do my ears betray me? It appears they do... <laughs> they do no such thing. Hello there, my friends of unlikely happenstance. How glorious this is to meet such equally dignified people under the uncommon grounds of meeting. What what beeth thine matter? Hath thou tongue tongues been caught be a most cruel and evasive feline? If so, then Lysendros, the master of chasing cruel and evasive felines, shall deal with this menace at once. No, we're fine, thanks. Oh, good. Then what? Then with that out of thine way, might I inquire about your preferred form of calling? What your names? Like I'd like to know them. Okay, then I'm Zach. This is Amelia. And you were Lysandroth? But of course that is I, Lysandroth, master of the four syllable names. Oh wait, Lysanderoth, okay. Wait, I thought it was the master of chasing evil felines. That as well, I thought that, I thought it was dumb. Says the evasive feline. Regardless of the matter, I am here on a mission, so please step aside. And... <laughs> Where is it? Where is the sword? It's been removed, but by whom? Uh, you mean this old thing? I pulled it out. Old thing? You removed the blade? Yes, it just came right out. Ah, I can't believe this! How could I have, you have removed the legendary full hilt from its from its stone imprisonment? The full hilt. What, what's the full hilt? You're joking, right? If I remember correctly, the full hilt is the ultimate weapon supposedly crafted by Edol Edolons 200 chapters ago, <laughs> I, I, li I like that form of time chapters. Not supposedly, it was made by the Adolons. It was the weapon of that, the hero warriors united in under. Okay, so there are plenty of old hero weapons still around from the great e uh, hero age. Why is this one so special? Sir Zack, the sword is a fragment of the full hilt. It was a weapon that could become any other weapon in the whole world. When it shattered during the final battle of evil, it scorched the mainland, causing humans to go extinct and split into hundreds of different heroic weapons spread across all the all of Dren um uh, Drena. Seriously, that explains the freak out. But if the split um if it's split, then why is this uh, one called the full hilt? The full hilt was originally just a broken bl I, I can't do that voice any longer, I'm sorry. <laughs> but the uh, Adolans turned it into the ancient weapons it once was. If that's the case, then this must be pretty powerful a pretty powerful sword. Let's try it let's try out its swing. Here we go. Oh, that's you can't equip swords. I could cut uh, that better with a kitchen knife. No offense, sir, Zach, but you need to reforge the blade to make it an effective weapon. To do that, you'll need the Darksmith hammer, which was split into six pieces called the Dark Treasures. You know a lot about the sword, Ly uh, Lysandroth. Why do, um why do you know so much? That's not important, not anymore. It's decided I shall accompany thee on thine perilous quest to collect the dark treasures and reforge the full hilt. You'll do what now? For whom else could undertake such a harrowing task save for I, Lysandroff, master of guiding those on perilous journeys? Onwards, Sir Zack, Lady Amelia. Okay. Hang on, when did you start enjoying this? Didn't you just say it was dumb? Yeah, but now I kind of now it kind of sounds fun. Come on, Zach, let's go be heroes or something. Now that I think about it, it does sound kind of fun. All right, then, Lysandroth, you got yourself a deal. Let's go be heroes. That's the spirit, Sir Jack. The first treasure is on the nearby island. We'll take the cloud bridge up there. Hey, we got a new party member, <laughs> the wannabe hero. <laughs> You can just skip the, the fanfare, that's funny. Oh wait, that's his job class, wannabe hero. <laughs> Alright, so what do you got? Excalipur, Lysandroff's own sort of heroism. This blade has been rusted past the past that should be past the point of use for a while now, but a hero always trusts their blade. That's really not that powerful. We have no extra equipment. 
What does this do? Ah, uh, not the greatest. This sounds like the hero theme from Final Fantasy IV. Oh, and we're a tad over level 2, I can tell because he's level 4. Oh, he's water elemented, nice. Hero's Victory Slash. With all the power of, ranging, of a raging river, strike victory into your foes in a, in a true, as a true hero would. Strike victory into them, as in they experience victory. Yeah, he's water elemented. Okay. What is Ultima? Why do you take 101% from healing? That... <laughs> Hold on. Is that true for everyone? Why do some characters take more or less damage from healing? That feels weird. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. To be continued, Chapter 3, The Redhead Pirates. Oh, that's it? I was getting into that. <laughs> well, I guess that's that story done. Again, there are more than, there's more than one story to this game. Um, that was just the, the, the first one. Okay, um, I'm assuming we're going to see that. I'm not ending off the LP here. We still have three more stories to do. Um, I'm assuming, um, are we going to see this at the... <laughs> also, the dev, the programmers, and writers are all the same person. Uh, by the way, when that happens, what you can always do is you can have, say, like, development, programming, and writing by these people, so you don't have to, like, repeat your... <laughs> you don't have to repeat um, <laughs> your name over and over again. Fly, Akashix? I've always wondered how you say that name. I, I know who that person is. Climb Ladders, that's a new name. Melissa, Chris, and Julia. Are those your family members? They all have the same last name as you. All of our family families are spelled wrong. Um, members of the RPG Maker staff and Newgrounds community. Thank you for playing the demo. If you like what you play, be sure to support the game and keep an eye out for update uh, for an update demo and eventually the game's full release. An apostrophe there. Feel free to try out the other stories or even replay this one. If you restart the story, you'll keep your current level and equipment. And any carried items will come with you between stories. In loving memory of Desmond, Etika... Oh, dang. I, I miss Etika, too. Yeah, that was really tragic. Um, Joy-Con boys for life. <laughs> Alright, that was the first story. Um, oh, wait, wait. New save file, technically. So, yeah. If I do New Game Plus, do I... Hold up. Okay, it starts from here, good. So I'm still gonna have my equipment. But it'll be a new story now. Let's just skip through this real quick. Alright, let's do the head the heart of red. I just get to press X there again. Chapter 1, Return and Loss of Old Friends. Oh. We're in jail? You're right, Armion? Oh, we're playing as these two! We're surrounded on all sides by our friends, being locked up and threatened like ca uh, treated like caged animals. No, Sahara, we are not alright. Sorry, brother, just had to ask. I know you uh, disagree with, um, with the way that first Higgles uh, treats monsters. But this is far from the worst case scenario. We know this could be much worse. We've seen uh, what people do to them normally, but that doesn't make this any less unpleasant. These people are still our friends, monsters or not. Again, sorry, Army. It's fine, Sil. We're gonna go uh, go take a walk, and we'll also like to check on our friends. Wanna come? Sure, I think we could both benefit from that. Here we go, on our way to another adventure. Alright, so we have a new party now. Um, Army on... No description? Interesting. Um, okay, you appear to be a mage again, and 
Yeah, that's about what I expected. Okay, let's see what, like, our equipments are. Yeah, we do keep our stuff. That's kind of convenient, actually. Um, I'm assuming they can't equip many of the things our last party could. Burn your opponents with a very chilling ice attack resembling a roaring inferno summoned from below the opponent. Okay, um, and that's just a really powerful ice move, I'm assuming. Monster magic! <laughs> I think that's supposed to be monster. Um... Revealing their status and weaknesses. Okay, so I'm assuming every party gets a variation on this. That's the same effect as Pirate Eye. Army on signature move using Mantra. He covers his body in spikes, rolls into a spinning ball, and throws himself at the enemy. It's called Spin Dash. Thanks, game. <laughs> Normal electric move. Twice of your spear. Jump? Oh, he's a Dragoon! Jump with ultra power! Landing on your opponent and doing significant damage. I don't think I've ever seen a Dragoon, or like a Final Fantasy style Dragoon depicted in um, an RPG Maker before. Yeah, you're the guy who uses spell books. Let's give you that. Oh, we can't unequip that. Okay. I can give you other stuff, though. Okay, maybe I shouldn't sell my stuff if this is what it's gonna do. Also, we're, we're prisoners, but we can walk around the jail? Oh, what? Why can I walk through the walls? That seems wrong. I think that needs to, <laughs> needs to have a second look at... Huh? We're pretty sure we back some snacks in our luggage. I packed some coffee, too. Could you grab it for me? Sure thing. What? Why can I walk through walls? Oh god, I can walk through everything. Did you forget to turn through off or something? We just got a lot of stuff. Um, okay, I promise I will respect the game and not, like, walk through walls to break it or anything, but that's still... That's still kind of weird. Uh, that should be patched. Um, <laughs> okay, I, I could not talk to a guy like that. Um, the Invincible... Wait, what'd that say? Transport package. Okay. You probably shouldn't go down there. Okay, I was exhausting my options. You never know. Uh oh. Oh! What? Our head is spinning like a top. Sil, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you, Army. Oh, good. Okay, he can jump. He is a dragoon. <laughs> what's, um, what's in hell's just hit us? That felt like getting rammed by a spike runner. Whatever it was, it just blew a massive hole in the Invincible. Who on Drina would attack a Class 13 airship like this? People willing to die. Come, we need to get to the uh, sky deck before anyone damages it. Any more, any more should be two words. Damage is done to the ship. They may be attacking the sky treader, um, as well. All right, we trust you. Uh, let's let's go, big bro. I noticed that army like refers to himself as we. That's a bit interesting. I, I can't go down again. I, I promise I'm not gonna sequence break the game by doing that. Um, oh, I like that background quite a bit. What's this? Flame Rex. When the uh, when this uh, creature this creature dies, its tail will stay lit for several weeks. After to help people with its warmth, you find solace in this creature's determination. I'm torn on whether that's a Pokemon reference or an Undertale reference. Like, <laughs> so does every character have their own, um, have their own, oh, have their own save points as well? That's kind of cool. Magi robes. What is moisture? <laughs> Wait, moisturized squish. Okay. Okay, so we're meant to use lightning stuff here, clearly. Or maybe not. Oh wait, he must have like just bad attack. Yeah, or bad magic. Let's see how much this does. That feels off, how little damage that does. <laughs> that is a really good animation for that. <laughs> maybe you? I'm still experimenting around, we did just start as a new party.
thing. That restores health, but doesn't do much damage either, so... What, how many turns do we get? It seems like we just got two turns there. There we go. Okay, so it seems like damage might be a problem with this party. Oh. You can walk through, like, chests, too. We get better. Um... Oh, okay, so if you get a critical hit, that does a lot. Let me take a drink of water while we're doing this. What? Hold on a second. He's a blue mage? Attack your opponent and steal their life to add to your own. Oh my god, okay, I knew this was possible in RPG Maker, but again, I've never seen a game actually do this. Blue Mage abilities. If you don't know what that is, it's a Final Fantasy term. Basically, Blue Mages are, like, characters that gain magic when they take damage. So, like, if you use a fire spell on a character, that character might learn fire magic, that sort of thing. Wow, I've always wanted to play as a blue mage in, like, a game that isn't Final Fantasy. This is- I'm looking forward to this. The elevator leads straight to the sky deck. If we- Intruder detected in upper monster hold. Uh, sky deck lockdown initiated. Intruder detected in a lower elevator. Engine room lockdown initiated. Dispatch the upper monster hold. Dispatch to engine room. That sounds like not- like the not fun. <laughs> Here it comes. Stay on guard. This won't be easy. Oh, we got a boss. Okay. Scorpion. <laughs> okay, that does okay damage. Let's use this too. 200. It's weak to lightning and water. Did it just scan us? Hold on. See how much this does. Oh! Ah! Okay, 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 I get how this boss works. So... Wait. I was gonna say, it seems like you're meant to defend here. But, um, okay, a little bit of a, um, yeah. A little bit of a... To disclose something, I'm not playing a newer version of the game, this is still the version I was playing in the last episode, and um, defending there crashed the game, so I'm assuming I can't do that here either. I'm gonna wait until you have 100, um, 100 TP and then use that super move. Can I use this against you? Is this a fire? Did this guy resist fire? Oh, okay, I don't need to charge that up either. That doesn't do much damage on our end. Okay, this is getting interesting. Oh, that costs a lot of magic, though. Like, don't I have 20 magic? Hmm. Okay. You can use healing items on the boss? That's interesting. Okay, cool. I think this is gonna be my strat for this. Yeah, oh my god! Again, it's all about finding a strategy. Like, again, I love how this game deals with this, uh, uses this mechanic. You're low on health, so I'm just gonna finish you off with that. That was a good first boss. I like how that, like, subtly teaches you how the blue mage mechanic works. 
Because, like, he is very clearly weak to that, and that's a very strong move, too, that you might actually end up using for quite a while. That was too close. Higgle's mechs um, are nothing to laugh at. He's got more firepower than most of the other nations. We got nothing to worry about with, uh, with you here, big bro. You're so cool. <laughs> you were the MVP in that fight. Thanks, army. I think there... There's a switch to the door in this floor. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, are there still random encounters on this? I'm gonna go ahead and heal real quick. Ooh. Nice. So we're looking for a switch now. Weapon Tome 2. Is that a weapon for you? Wait, no, it's not. Oh, ah. It, is it... Interesting. Okay, cool. Well, it's, it's more attack regardless, so... Shadow Ball. That hits all monsters. Wow, okay. Also, I noticed that when Armion swings his weapon, it's like a hammer. I think there is like a book sprite in our in default RM that you can use. Just saying. Frostfire Mine and Men Life. Dragon Speed. Call forth the suit of a dragon granted either to yourself or an ally. Ah, okay. That's useful. And just a more powerful version of that. Okay. Ah, uh, we can just muscle you down. Yeah. Steel Spear. Uh, one more attack, why not? Oh, there's the lever. Door lock uh, one released. Release all locks to resend lockdown. Damn it, that's, on, um, that's the only one on this floor. We could, um, where, the wrong where, could the others be? They had to be somewhere, probably on the lower floors, if we had to guess. We should probably go check down. Door lock two released. All locks released. Lockdown respawn. What the hells? So, uh, someone else pulled the other lever, but who? I don't think it matters. We can get to the sky deck now, so let's go. That was probably done in a different character story. Um, let's see what this does now. Wow, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, why not? God, I like this party a lot so far. Did we get a new item? Maybe we got... Eh, whatever. Also, I haven't really seen any status ailments yet in this game, or enemies that can deal status ailments. I kind of wonder why you get so many of those, like, status heal items. I'm gonna heal here. Doors open. Let's get to the sky deck, army. Uh, gay lie? You're okay. Thanks, uh, thank the Adolons. How'd you get out? Gay lie. I'm not sure if, that, if that's how you say it. Kill. No, please, not you. Not you, too. I will kill you. Armion, we can't stay here. We have to go. We can deal with this ourselves, brother. Uh, please just go. 
Armion, you uh, you can't help him. He's a. I, we said go. Daylight, please don't make us do this. We'll kill. Must kill. Oh dang. Okay, we got an improv two boss. Um, it's not too bad. Okay. Um, first things first. That's not much health. Weak to ice. This is probably meant to be like a not so tough fight. Yeah, okay. It's gonna work, because one on one bosses in these types of games can typically be pretty bad, but. <laughs> We're sorry, Galai. We're sorry, Rose. We couldn't protect your um your boy for you. We failed you. Ironically, the day we were born uh, was the end of the world. A plague began sweeping the world, a disease known as uh, Monstrosity. It would turn people into wretched monsters of only the most basic desires, to kill and to breed. This virus has stolen the life of my friend. Since we began this journey of ours, we've been asked one question many times, and every time my answer is the same. If we could wish for anything in this world, what would it be? An end to this hell. Still should be up here, but we don't see him anywhere. Where did he run off to? He's fighting someone on the other ship. Wait a minute, that's... That should have an apostrophe. Oh, and that, 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 this fight. I refuse to tell you anything. Fine. Have it your way. Have it your way, you stubborn fool. Isn't that what you were going to say, Zack? Red, you're alive. More, uh, more so than you'll be if you don't get away from our brother right now. Tahar, are you alright? This is the same cutscene. I've been worse, thank you, Armion. To be fair, he did shoot first. Actually, we're pretty sure that since you blew a hole in our ship and started raiding our supplies, you shot first. Right, sorry about that. What the hell was that noise? I can't wait to see how this clown got this robot to chase him. <laughs> Somebody sounds like someone's having a bad day. You! And what's that supposed to mean, Chuckles? Launch you, persistent. Choke on this, you giant metal monstrosity. Smoke control! Well, look at that. It's immune to my smoke. Looks like Higgles has seriously stepped up his game. Are you trying to get us all killed, Chuckles? Where did the thing even come from? Sorry to interrupt, but we have a problem to deal with first. We can leave the explanation for later. Look out, the thing is trying to ram us off the ship. <laughs> yeah, and then these two go. <laughs> Amelia! Zach, wait! Alright, now this is new! God damn it! Looks like it's self-destructed. We can't breathe! Q. Our lungs feel like they're full of powder. You have, um, you have to live. They need you to live. Who is this woman? Why are we important to her? Who needs us? Chapter 2, Advent of Memories. Where are we now? Are we on my, uh, my little traceless star? What? Whose voice was that? You're alive. Thank the stars. Our time is running out, but I have more to say. Armion, find your way to the top of the Advent Spire. I'll wait for you there. What happened to us? Where are we? Looks like someone's awake. How are you feeling, Army? Uh, someone should have an apostrophe. We're doing all right, uh, we suppose. You look well, Sil. But of course, I'm a failing. I'm, a, I'm the failing in general. I'm not going to put out be put out of commission by a group of pirates attacking my airship. Speaking of the pirate, oh, this guy, uh, from what you brother told me, you know their leader, correct? Yes, Master Ziggs, uh, we know Zack and we know Armelia as well. I recognize Amelia, she was a classmate, classmate is one word, of, uh, of your, of, of yours, who dropped out of, to learn necromancy, but I don't know who Zack is. Neither do I, who is he, Army? Zack was our friend in the slave camp, back when, uh, we were only six chapters old. 
That is the only reason we're still alive. We raised each other when uh, when we were in camp. He showed us how to fight and stay alive. He sacrificed a lot, um, a lot to help us. We owe him for that. A lot should be two words in that context. Eventually, he was uh, brought by a uh, gore, and uh, was taken to uh, to a remote place far from the village. Not long after, we got out. We found a place to live. Two wolves, one black and one white. Found us injured and passed out. We took, um, they took us in and raised us for the next 12 chapters of our lives. Fun times. You seldom talk about the camp army. Thanks for telling me. Don't worry, it's fine. Can't feed one wolf forever. He was raised by wolves. <laughs> oh, we have control now. Okay. I think we're gonna... Oh, I don't have the ability to walk through walls anymore. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that needs to be fixed. You can walk through walls for some reason. <laughs> well, regardless, I'll see you folks next time. Uh, thanks for watching.